Hey guys, I'm back at the salon today and I'm going to be doing some dark roots on my hair so that I can hopefully like blend my natural hair color with the um, highlighted parts that I got done before just because I don't want to have to like bleach it every month. It grows in pretty fast and it starts to look pretty bad so I thought it would be cool if I could get some dark root going on up here so I could just kind of let my natural hair grow for at least you know like four or five months before I do anything new to it. So yay! This will be new. I haven't tried this kind of hair color before so I'm excited and she was saying that she might put a little bit of uh, blonde uh, lighter color in just to kind of blend it so we'll see how that goes but yeah as you can see like my hair has faded quite a bit after that if you like want to know how i got this color that i have now watch that video where i talk about using lemon to get rid of silver gray colored hair that was like a total disaster but it faded to an okay color so i'm i'm kind of happy with it now it's just that the roots are kind of a problem but yay i'm excited oh and i'm at parlor hair in victoria so if you guys are ever in victoria or if you live here um go to sarah she's awesome she's been my friend for a while now so every time i'm back in victoria now i get her to do my hair so i'll put her name and stuff down below in the address of this place so definitely check it out yay we're done the color now we just washed it out i'm so excited oh my god it looks like my natural hair color oh that's awesome i can't wait to see it dry Yay, all done. Can you see it? I hope the lighting's all right, but it looks really nice in person. I really like it. It like, it blended my roots with the blonde a lot. So I feel like it won't look too bad when it grows out. Yay, I'm so happy with it. Okay, now I'm gonna go have some pho for lunch, I think, because I'm downtown and I really miss the pho here. It's really good. Um, so I'll bring you guys along and show it to you. So this is what downtown Victoria looks like. This is like the biggest shopping center we have. It's nothing special. Um, but I'm gonna go down to the water and show you guys the pretty area. This is the chocolate place I was telling you that I got my, or that my mom bought my calendar from. Rogers, they're really yummy chocolates. If you ever come here, get the ones with the cream in the middle, they're really good. This is Government Street. It's basically just like souvenir shops kind of stuff. Lots of like Canadian products, maple syrup and fudge and that kind of stuff. Gelato, there's lots of gelato shops. It's like the prettiest area of downtown, but there's not much down here, shopping-wise. I used to work at this ice cream shop on the corner here. This store here, oh, it looks like they turned it into a hot dog shop. I think it's the same though, we used to sell hot dogs. Um, yeah, but it was mostly ice cream before. Anyways, so this is like the main area of downtown where all the like postcard photos are of. This is the Empress Hotel. It's a really old hotel, really expensive. Um, and the parliament buildings are down there. I'm gonna go up a little closer so you guys can see them. They're really pretty. And this is the inner harbor. In the summer, there's lots going on down here. Right now it's freezing, so there's no one out there, but there's like musicians and stuff and people selling crafts. This is the first sunny day since I got here. <laughs> I've been here for a week now and it's been pouring every day. So I haven't really vlogged anything. But I'm glad it's nice today so I can show you guys downtown. These are the parliament buildings, the government buildings. I'm not sure exactly what they do in there. Government stuff. But they're really pretty. At nighttime they light up and at Christmas they put like red and green lights on them and they're super pretty. Okay, I'm back at home and we're gonna order some pizza. So I'm hoping oh, they I'm have so some like veggie stuff. Um, I was looking at this one. Where'd it, where'd it go? Uh, where'd it go? This one. Spinach, tomatoes. Artichoke hearts, good. Parmesan feta olives, which are gross, but oh well. Can we get it without olives? Yeah. Because well, I would just pick them off anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> do you think they'd switch it? Let's switch them for garlic. That would be good. Yep. I'm in. Okay. 
Yay. So yeah, they're like two for one though. So we we're gonna have so many pizzas. I know, like the options were really weird. Like I didn't like any of them. Thank God that this one's like good and doesn't have any meat, so. Let's get the probe yeah. one. What? <laughs> yes. Alfredo seriously. sauce potatoes? Ew. Ew. Ew! It does sound like a pierogi. Yeah, maybe let's pass. That's gross. Pass. Like, this one sounded really good, and then I was gonna order it, like, without the chicken. But the, I would eat that. I thought that Is would that be kind of weird. It's the main ingredient. Like, it does, yeah. <laughs> like, I think they'd be like, what? Are you not eating chicken right now? No, I'm not eating any meat. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that, awesome. that one sounded good, but I don't know. The spinach sounded good, though, so yeah. I, I guess. Yeah, do that. That'll be good. All right, yay, pizza. <gasps> Popeye something, I forget what it's called. Anyways, it looks amazing. Look at it. Spinach, garlic, yay. Mm -hmm. That was so good. It's so much better than Japanese pizza. Japan kind of fails at pizza. They do really good at like all other foods basically, but the pizza there kind of sucks. No offense. I subscribe to this online like TV watching thingy. It's kind of like Netflix. It's called Hulu. I don't know if they have it anywhere other than Japan. I don't know if it's a worldwide thing or what, but um, the Japanese one's pretty good actually. It's got lots of like American TV shows and stuff and I've been watching this one called Faking It. Uh, this one here, Faking It, it's about these two girls that like pretend to be a lesbian couple because they think it'll make them famous but then one of them actually like falls in love with the other one and it's really good. I like it. I've watched like uh, probably about 10 episodes so far and I'm really liking it. It's fun. So I recommend that if you guys have that wherever you live. Oh, and I know I'm like super late, but I finally watched Attack on Titans. <laughs> I hadn't watched any of it until now and like <clears throat> I've been hearing about how popular it is and then I was checking out Netflix when I got to Canada and they had it here and it wasn't dubbed, so yay, it was subtitled. So yeah, I watched the whole series in like two days. It was really good, it was really, really good and I wanna watch more. I'm kind of sad that <laughs> all the episodes are over now. Um, it was really awesome. If you haven't seen it, I really recommend it. It's kind of gory, but I don't know. It doesn't bother me. Like, I don't like gory, like, real life movies, <laughs> but, like, the animated stuff doesn't bother me at all. So, yeah, as long as you're okay with that, I really recommend that show as well. It was really, really good. I'm just gonna watch my TV shows and then go to bed, and tomorrow is... What day is it tomorrow? Tomorrow's Tuesday. Oh, and Val's coming over. We're gonna film some videos together. We're gonna do some cooking videos because she made me this, like, really good tapioca pudding and it's really really easy to make apparently so I thought I'd make a video and show you guys how to make it so yeah we're gonna film that and some other tag videos or something anyways I guess I will say good night here thanks for watching guys bye